guys, I'm Laura Vitale. On this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I want to show you how to make a great side dish for this holiday table coming up. I'm going to show you how to make some sautéed kale with cranberries and balsamic. So good, so easy, perfect for your vegetarian loving friends because there is absolutely no meat going in here whatsoever. And it's a great standalone dish too if you want to toss it with some pasta or over rice you would be in business. It is just delicious. The ingredients for them, for the dish, are ridiculously easy. You're just going to need a ton of kale that's been washed and cut into bite-sized pieces, balsamic vinegar, vegetable stock, dried sweetened cranberries, a little bit of garlic, salt and pepper, and just a drop of olive oil, which is right in this big pan here. You want to make sure that you have a nice big pan ready, deep skillet. I have about a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. You don't need a whole lot for this. And now to that, I'm actually going to put the garlic and the oil in now while the oil is still cold because I want the garlic flavor to infuse throughout the oil. So I'm just going to let this go over about medium heat until I can really smell the garlic and become nice and fragrant and lightly golden. To my sizzling garlic, I'm just going to put in all of my kale. And this really will, will, will down quite a bit. And now, even though for dinner tonight it's just my husband and I, I love this dish. And it's so great for leftovers for lunch the next day and I don't know, I just love kale and I love prepare it this way so I'm going to make the whole thing even though it's just the two of us. I'm going to just try and fit all my kale in here. It's nice and clean. And I'm going to put a lid on and I'm going to let this wilt down for just about two minutes and then I will show you the next step. That's more like it. I just wanted it to wilt down a bit so that I could toss it in that garlic oil. It smells so good already. Nothing's happened yet. Well, a few things have happened, but it's going to smell even better. All right. Put this down the medium. Add in my vegetable broth. And my dried sweetened cranberries. Look at that. Looks like a party already. Look at those colors. Fantastic. Let me just give this a stir. Let me give this a stir. That's, that'll be a new word to go into my vocabulary. Okay, this just needs to be seasoned with salt and pepper. And then I want you to put the lid on and let this cook for about 10 minutes or so covered. The kale will get a little bit more tender. You still want it to remain a little bit of its texture. Now kale is not like spinach where it kind of wilts and cooks in two minutes. Kale needs a little bit more time. So I'm just going to cover this, let it go for about 10 to 12 minutes and I'll show you what to do next because it will be our final step. Oh that looks great. It's cooking covered for about 10 minutes. All those dried cranberries have plumped up and it's awesome. So now it's time to finish this baby up with some balsamic vinegar. Not too much. And I'm just going to cook this for about a second. Oh, it smells so delicious in here. Oh, that's great. Oh, perfect. Turn this off. Put all of this into a big bowl. And look at all that kale. I mean, it was a lot, but it didn't, it de definitely cooks down. It didn't end up being so much. That looks phenomenal. Just gonna take this really quickly and clean that up because that was bothering me. I'm gonna give this a taste because I want to. <laughs> this is gonna be hot though. That is amazing. That is worthy of being on your holiday table for a great side dish, something new, something exciting, not so much the same old boring green bean casserole, which there's nothing wrong with, but once in a while you just need to put something new out there. Mm. That's delicious. I hope you've enjoyed spending time with me. You have got to give this a try. And to get this recipe, go to laurainthekitchen.com. I'm going to go back for more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.